Understanding aspect ratios as a content creator and as a casual social media user is important because you want to engage your audience in your posts. You want to captivate your audience by showcasing the highlights of your life, business, and our thoughts. Going on vacation, buying a new car, introducing your newborn to your family and friends is important to you and you want your friends and family to see a glimpse into your life. You want people to engage in your post. You want to connect to other people. See, being human means we crave social connections. So how do you connect to the people with your post? You connect with other people by using these social media platforms to your advantage. Today, I'm going to be showing you how you can take advantage of these platforms to the best of your ability so that more people engage in your post. There are many ways you can do that, but today I'm going to be talking to you about the importance of aspect ratios. All right, so before we talk about aspect ratio, let's first talk about this shirt. This shirt is from my boy JJ the Atom. He's an he's a rapper here from the Coachella Valley, and he gave me this shirt, you know, and I just wanted to rep it on my video. He is new to Instagram, so go show him some love. I'm gonna leave a sandal right here. Tell him I sent you and we are going to come out with a music video music video very soon. So stay on the lookout for that. Subscribe so you could uh, get notified when that drops. And yeah, let's get into the video. Why are our aspect ratios important? Aspect ratios, like I said in the intro, they're important because you want to use them to engage your audience. A lot of the times when I'm scrolling through Instagram, I see a lot of pictures slash video that are not taking up the whole screen on Instagram. I see a lot on Instagram because there's a lot of different sizes that people, you know, uh, upload their content with. And in today's video, I'm gonna be basically giving you guys the correct aspect ratios you guys can use so you can take up more of the, more real estate on the screen so more people can engage in your post. If you're a basic, you know, user of Instagram and you just like posting cool stuff, it's important because the algorithm is really messed up on Instagram. So you want to, you want people to engage on it. So more people see it and yeah. And if you're a content creator, it's even more important because you want to obviously promote your work, promote your brand and having the correct aspect ratio and making sure people see your stuff is really, really important. Like I said, the algorithm on Instagram is really, really bad right now. So it's important for people to engage, right? So let's first talk about how people consume their media. Usually people are either watching on a screen, on a laptop, TV, or on a phone, right? For YouTube, the standard aspect ratio is a 16 by nine or a HD uh, 1920 by 1080. I'm gonna leave the aspect ratio right here. So when you're exporting on any editing software, um, you can put those uh, those settings so you get uh, the correct aspect ratio for YouTube, right? And now let's talk about phones and Instagram slash TikTok. You know, TikTok is really big right now. I don't know if it's gonna go away with all those talks about you know the United States banning TikTok, but Let's focus on Instagram because on Instagram you can post on your feed and you can also post on your stories. And there's two different aspect ratios for that as well. Uh, the standard Instagram feed aspect ratio is a four by five. I'm gonna leave the correct settings right here for you guys. So if you guys are exporting on any editing software, you guys can use these settings uh, so you get the correct four by five aspect ratio the, that Instagram uses most of the screen now let's talk about the the skinniest aspect ratio which is the TikTok and the instagram story aspect ratio i'm gonna leave uh the settings right here and you want to obviously use these settings so people can stop and watch or stop and like your content the bonus the the thing about the instagram story is that you have to zoom in a lot for you to cover the edges and that's gonna remove a lot of the information on the sides so if you're aiming to to create a cool instagram story or create a 
cool, you know, commercial on Instagram story so people could see it or whatever. I would rather shoot uh, vertically with my camera, um, either on your phone or on your actual camera. You want to turn your camera and shoot vertically. I think I'm going to do a video on how to shoot vertical videos for Instagram story slash TikTok. And it, if you shoot vertically, you're going to use the whole sensor. It's going to give you more, more informa uh, the most information and it's going to be the cleanest out of all of them. If you shoot in 4K or a high resolution, you can always zoom in because you have more information and it's not going to look as bad. But if you're shooting on like a 1080 or 720 or whatever phone or camera, it might be a little bit difficult for you to zoom in without it looking really bad. So yeah, shoot vertically for Instagram stories slash TikTok. So yeah, this is just a short video breaking down the different aspect ratios you can use to up your Instagram slash TikTok slash your YouTube game. Um, I see a lot of people post um, pictures and videos, especially on Instagram, and and they're very tiny. So sometimes you just have to post it by 16 by 9 aspect ratio. But if you're using like more of a commercial, more of a something like that, I recommend you using the 4 by 5 aspect ratio. So your content looks it's bigger people see it people comment on it people share it so yeah this is just a uh just a i guess a tip video uh, on how you guys can up your game on social media to so help you get more likes get more shares and yeah just makes you look good you know if you guys like this type of video please let me know i enjoy uh making it uh like i said go follow my boy jj the adam on instagram Follow me on my Instagram at CJJ Sid. And on to the next one. Peace.